Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Grime. We have entered the garden, and we have that big guy to deal with, so let's do that, shall we? Have we fought one of these before? I don't remember. Maybe I did. Okay, those were variable attacks. Nice. Okay. Watch out of that, please. Well... Oh god, okay, the multi-hits are... Not nice. Stamina! There. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that works. I meant to finish him off with a rib, but, you know. Same difference. Okay, now we have two hunt points. Oh, also there's that thing up there that I didn't notice at the end of the previous episode. Uh, I have not thought about what to invest in. Hmm. Hmm. What can I even buy with two points? Not much. I don't know, I mean, I, since I don't really need anything, I, I don't feel like I urgently need any, any more upgrades. I guess I could save and make the absorb window even more generous. Well, that almost seems like it would make things too easy. I mean, as it is, it's, it's really not that hard to pull off. I can quite consistently do it, and I'm really terrible at parrying attacks in in the Souls games, for example. In most Souls games and Souls likes, I just don't bother because I, you know, it's way too inconsistent. Here, it's I mean, with these upgrades at least, it's it's so generous that you know, even I have little trouble with it. So improving that even further feels very unnecessary. Uh, but I really appreciate that they add this many potential levels of, you know, making parries easier. Especially since it's such a such a central mechanic to the game, obviously. Um, yeah, it would be really really unfortunate if many people were just unable to to make use of it. People like me, or even people even somehow even even less dexterous than me. Anyway, maybe I'll go for this one. I don't know. Force region never pauses while the breath consumption heal is active. Actually, no, I never use that. Um. More healing, also not necessary. This, maybe, but... I don't know. Uh, actually... Probably this would make uh, the most sense, wouldn't it? I guess I do that a lot. Yeah, maybe I'll actually invest in more uh, repel damage. Actually, that seems to make a lot of sense. So, two more hunt points for that. Or technically only one if I decide to... Refund the uh, projectile damage increase. Oh. Wait. Oh. What? Oh god. What? Thanks for this, uh, for this ledge here. That was it. <laughs> okay. Thankfully that one uh, reactivates or, you know, responds quickly enough to allow me to do that. Otherwise, of course, that wouldn't be possible. Love metal chunk. Oh, wait. And that brings us up here. Which I had been worrying or wondering about. Not so much worrying. The way it's displayed on the map is still weird, but I guess that might be because we don't have the, the map for the garden yet. Hmm. Either way, we don't need to go down that way, or do we, actually? Actually, I wasn't sure. I thought I saw something... Uh, oh, I guess now we have to go back down this way. I thought I saw something on the way uh, up. Like an opening in the wall to the right. Oh. No problem. I 
I guess I'm gonna take one more look at that. Oh, um. Okay, that works. This is a pretty weird mode of transportation, though. I gotta say. Is there something up there? No. Maybe there isn't anything. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Again, I, I guess it's it makes more sense to wait until you... Oh, oh, that's that was that. Okay, there is something more up there, though. Thought I saw something. Uh, yeah, it makes more sense to wait until we actually have the map to help us reveal any potential, you know, potentially hidden places. Wait. Oh, okay, so the trick is that you have to write this all the way over to the right first, and then... No! No! Give me that! Hmm... That seems like some pretty, pretty tight timing to basically basically grapple onto that traveling... grapple node while it's at the uh, very leftmost end of its, of its journey. Oh, come on. <gasps> really? Hmm. Get one more try. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Okay, it's actually not as tight as I thought. And did all that for two breath through fragments. Okay. Are those the small ones? Ah. I mean, either way, good to have. Ouch. Also, is it just me or could I have... Yeah, absolutely could have. Leveled up health again. So there we go. Now, moving on. Okay, got more palace enemies here. Including these guys. Uh, oh, okay. Unformed body, 3,000. Not bad. Oh, that's a... that's a letter. Okay. Wait. And that's, um, uh, freaking... Flower enemy? No. What is that? Is it just a trap? Oh, okay, it's a... <gasps> what? I didn't expect it to... Zap repeatedly. I guess I... I attacked it at first and that deactivated it for a while. That must be what happened. Okay. Now I know. Again. I suppose I just yeah, avoid those things. Like that. Oh, okay. Do have a little bit of time to actually get out of their area of effect. And all that for another shard? Yeah. Right, we just land here. Oh, whoa, what, that's... okay. Forgot that there was a hole there. Right. And another one of those zappy plants, and this is another splinter. Hmm, I guess you don't attack those. But there is a crumbly floor here. Just, you know, after complaining about the lack of those. Yeah, it was a little bit awkward with the, with the spacing here. Thankfully it worked out, though. 
and a junk. All right, one of each. Oh god. Of course, more of these guys. Okay, that's how you absorb them. You pull them and then they usually or maybe even always proceed to do one of their otherwise rare melee attacks. Oh, we cannot climb this up. Oh. Huh. So I guess I missed out on whatever is up on that ledge. Well, not really, because we can just go up like this. In fact, that's just the way back, isn't it? Okay. Hmm. Ah, strange. So it doesn't seem like you can deactivate these flowers, but I somehow... That one flower, the, the first one I, I encountered on that tiny platform... Uh, stopped attacking for a while. For some reason. I guess I was not really intentional or something you can rely on. Okay, don't land right on that zappy flower. Ooh. Can't change route. Okay, fine. Okay. Did I miss something here? No, don't think so. That's another flower warrior. Get out of here. Oh, okay, right. I also forget that they or forgot until just now that they do their that they do a second swing. If you don't happen to kill them with the first one, or, you know, by parrying the first one. Uh, I, I keep forgetting. Have we been on that ledge there? That way we just came from, I think so. Just to make sure. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, but there was something here. I thought so. Okay. Another breath fragment. Now we might have seen everything. Yep, more zeppy flowers because obviously... Oh, okay, I did not see this guy this time. It's also a tiny one, that's cute. Come on. Are you... Do you not attack in melee? I guess not, but he must be absorbable though. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, you know, I guess I'll just finish you off. Surely, though, they, they must have some sort of... Oh, okay. Can absorb their slithering charge. Fair enough. Also, this is another area where it's weirdly choppy, despite the frame rate being fine. I haven't really felt that, that issue in a while. Um, okay, what are you? What? Oh, they create a shockwave on the ground. Can I attack you at all? Maybe if I'm a lot faster. Huh, doesn't seem like I can. How odd. I also cannot pull you, so... Do I just need to deal with you? That seems... Unlikely. But I really don't see what to do about that thing. I'm not even sure if it's an enemy. I mean, obviously it is some sort of enemy, but... Almost more like a... Force of nature that, I, that you just have to contend with. It's not moving now. Um, how... How do I reach that... that ledge to the right? 
like this, okay, very awkwardly like this. Hello? There you. Oh god, what? Yikes. Wait, you're... I damaged you somehow. Weird. What? What, what, what? What was that se sequence of events? Hmm. Okay, I pull myself to him. Oh, okay. That somehow damages him. I guess because he damages my surrogate. Or, not surrogate, you know, whatever. Shade thing. Oh, wait. Was he the only... my only way to, to get up there? I guess I missed my chance. I technically was up there once. That's interesting, unless that's not at all what's going on. And you can just do this? No? Not quite. Huh. Well, I can grab... once again, I can grab that item. Not the other one, though, I don't think. Plus there's that enemy. There's also a ledge above, so... Yeah. There's gotta be some other way up there, I think. Maybe? Oh, actually... You know, I just never fully explored this uh, this area in general, huh? Oh, of course, I'm missing a lot of health. And I don't necessarily want to... Return... Wait. Oh, what? They are totally are new enemies. What was that about seeing all prey? Never mind then, I guess. We are going to see more enemies. I mean, yeah. A garden ear, I see. So just overgrown versions of enemies we've seen before. But they still do get their own their, their own codex entries. Oh. Second ears who traveled in search of allies among the other mixed kin and ended up used as a host by the flowers until completely drained of their breath. Wild and unpredictable... Hone your reflexes or run away. Well, running away is never an option. Then garden eye, yes. An infested eye formed out of the child's influence. The flowers within it are draining it of breath, agitating its eye. They become exhausted after each attack, leaving them temporarily vulnerable. Seriously, we, we got to the... that predator achievement as we unlock the entrance... Uh, the entrance? The entry for this guy. So it's not a matter of, uh, of unlocking all the, the entries for enemies with... Uh, with traits, because obviously this one doesn't have a trait. Huh. In that case, I'm not sure what that what that is all about. Huh. I mean, I'm I'm glad that there are going to be more enemies. I really thought we were, we had seen all there was to see. Oh, that's crumbly. Okay, not a problem though. Is there? Hold on. Ouch. There isn't something up here, is there? No, no, I guess not. Pearl. Wait, is there something there? No, doesn't seem like it. Surely there's, there's got to be something we can do about that. Oh, it can be damaged. It's, it's just, okay. I guess we can damage it like this, but then, yeah. I still take damage from the shockwave. That's what I was afraid of. I guess it's just a matter of timing then. I, hmm. I mean, I tried multiple times uh, attacking it after its ground pound attack, and other other than that, it doesn't really give you a good opportunity to attack at all. So uh, definitely very awkward to fight. Oh. Okay, stamina. Have we ever gone down this way? Yes. Yes, of course. That is, in fact, the only way. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I remember. That's, that was the wrong button to press.
Okay, nice. Right, 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 right. This section here. Oh, God, what? Dang it. No? Where's it gonna come from? Okay, good. Click on the heel. You know, hmm, okay. Where's he gonna disappear? Oh, reappear now. Well, that was not uh, exactly how oh, I planned that, but oh well. No, could have gotten at least an attack in there. Wow, how? How do you deal with these? Maybe they're just invulnerable while their shell is closed and they're floating back up. But how do you damage them then? Way too slow. Oh, okay, you absolutely can hit them. It's just, their hitbox is just not what it seems to be. You, you have to kind of hit their shell. Weird. They also can be absorbed, you know? Why did that not occur to me? I have absolutely no idea. You can literally just do that. My god. <sighs> I absolutely have no explanation. Now, what is that thing? That was a basher. Yeah, okay. Appropriate name. An agitated garden variation of the nerve lump. Uses its shell in order to ram from above. Very evasive. Must be staggered before being pulled into a quick strike. Or just parry to death. All right, well, that was a little bit embarrassing, but, you know, it's all good. Now we get one more chance at dealing with this guy. No, I didn't mean to grab that. That's well, it's fine, I guess. Hmm, yeah, I want him to be over that way somewhere. Okay. Ugh, don't push me off, though. Or kill me. No, attack, please. What are you doing? Jesus. I'm gonna die. Okay. <sighs> Yikes. <sighs> Trying to time both of their attacks together somehow. <laughs> was obviously too much for my poor little brain. Get more level on dust. Thanks. So I'll climb up here. And here. And what is this all about? Uh oh. This might be a drop of no return. It's a bit concerning. Before I commit to that. Let's check out this ledge here that I don't think I've been on. Wait, or have I? No? Could I have just... Down here? What is this? Uh, <laughs> the lack of a map is really... Really hitting me hard here. Surely I've not been here. No. What an unpleasant area. That's not... Nope, nope, nope. Not like this. Can I grab that? Absolutely can. Okay. I just didn't think... I don't know, I guess my spatial awareness isn't as good as I thought it was. Or my mental mapping capabilities. I really thought that... Uh, I had already been in this area. Oh, okay. 
This connects oh, somewhere further up the path. All right. Nope. Mm. No, don't bonk your head on the ceiling, you idiot. Okay, what the heck was that? I'd like to slip past that first flower and just up onto the ledge and back to where I was, but... Okay. These things suck. There's something up here. Uh, almost looks uh, like there's an opening up and to the left, right? But <laughs> the left, right? But I think that's actually just the background. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Okay. Let's give this another try. There's an opening here, is there? Oh, there is there not? I think there was an opening. To my to the left? Maybe not. Okay, here was nothing. We could actually have returned. Good to know. And this is actually back in the palace area. Well I guess it's not part of the palace map. Oh, hi there. Hmm. Just one of those guys, and a bunch of explorers. Look for stamina. Okay. Should be fine so long as we don't rush things. Breath your fragment. Oh, there's one of those guys. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. And you, of course, you pull yourself up to them. Nope! Oh god, I'm so freaking bad. <sighs> For the record, I was trying to turn around in, in the air and attack the actual enemy instead of attacking away from it. And I would have won with one more hit. But once you're in the attack animation, you absolutely cannot turn around until it's completely, completely done. And then... I don't think you can attack again in the air before you land, so, yeah. Rip. Oh boy, that's... That's pretty far. I'm gonna have to do that awkward trick with... Uh... Oh, God. Completely forgot how to play now. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to do that little awkward trick with uh, pulling myself up onto that enemy to reach that higher ledge. I think, anyway, that's the only way to get there. It's fine. It's, we're just gonna speed run there. Ignore these guys. Oh, wait. Actually, we have this shortcut opened. Which uh, is unpleasant in its own way, but, you know, at least it makes, uh, makes it relatively quick to return here. And we do skip that awkward step. Assuming that enemy is not aggroing from below, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay, good. Dealing with you again. Don't even explode or anything. Right. This guy's the real problem here. If anything. I mean it really shouldn't be a problem. The biggest problem is that it's kind of awkward because Um Because of the the overhanging ceiling here, which was kind of covering up his movements. Richard and breath your fragment, and that's it, huh? That's all. Uh, unless. Oh, there's something above. But how? 
How do we get there? Yeah, it's definitely not on the palace map. It's unfortunate. It could give us some valuable hints, but... Huh. I mean, there, there's obviously nothing visible. No grappling points, no nothing. So how could we possibly reach anything? Huh. It's uh, a mystery. Definitely worth leaving a marker for. Maybe once we do finally uh, reveal the map. Is that really not an opening, though? I mean, I swear it looks like there is one, but I guess not. Yikes, 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 yikes. Just get the heck out of there. Okay, yeah, maybe once we actually have the map for this area, uh, it's going to clear things up. Kind of doubt it, though. Some more, some more practice against you. Ah, it's annoying that he's okay. That I missed him there, but it's also annoying that I don't quite finish him off actually with that, with just one more attack. Okay, I believe this is finally some new ground here. Oh god, that's a, that's a very toothy flower in the back there. Glad it's not hungry. Okay, grab some extra, some extra breath. Um. Okay. What are you doing? Oh God! What? What's actually going on? to absorb, like so. Thank you. Very nice. Do a normal heal, because why not? Okay, can we actually get back up? No. Doesn't seem like it. Could I have grabbed that that grapple point up there? Hmm. I don't know. But uh, it seems like it's too late now, either way. Ah, uh, there's something to the right. There's something to the right. But I guess I've committed to this direction now. Oh boy, okay. That's just an enemy. Yeah, but that indicates that there is a floor here, so... That works. Ah, I could have probably... Got an inner attack there after the initial stun. Okay, well. Ah, clutching root, whatever. Nothing special. That's an enemy. Oh, whoa, whoa. It's like a different variation, though. Heal. Hmm. Okay, I was gonna say that it's obviously another one of those. More clutching root. Awakening gasp. Um, that's an enemy, of course. Not fooling me. Oh. Okay. Let's see one of you in a while. Okay, it looks like the only way is actually up. Unless there was something... Here? No. I think I did check that. One. Okay. Nothing.
something above or to the right. And a wall breakable from this side, interesting. Was this all an optional path? <gasps> Not a tease! Wow. Awesome. Okay. <sighs> yeah, that's just... Huh. I mean, it's gotta be something there, right? Why else would, would they have that foreground blocking part of the room? Huh. That's, that's odd, though. With absolutely nothing visible there. I mean, I didn't even see a platform to potentially reach via, via double jump or something. So I'm really not sure what that's gonna be all about. Let's see, it doesn't seem like I'm missing anything obvious in the area so far. Well, actually there is something up here. Which room was that? Oh god. This is, I think, yeah, this is the room with the first one of those uh, floaty, whatchamacallit, that gave me so much trouble for no reason, until I finally figured out how to deal with them. And after that, I don't know. Hmm. And this is, I believe, where I went to the left, but it seemed like there was also something to the right, so... I don't know. Is there, is there really? Not so sure. Also, there is obviously some kind of opening there that I probably could have used. And then this is only partially mapped? Strange. But anyway, map cat. That's that's awesome. Hmm. Well, this is some way that potentially leads back up. Oh, okay. That connects to whatever this is. That's good. Could have, could have just absorbed them right then and there. Oh, that was... okay. Way too early. Huh. Come on. There we go. It's a bit of an odd timing to, to absorb that charge, because they don't move in one fluid motion, but they kind of stop and re-accelerate every now and then. Hello. Okay. I mean, I could have grabbed this from below, but no. Okay. I was wondering if I could actually parry their laser because, you know, or you know, their because at first the first part of their health bar is absorbable. And how would you absorb them, right? Because they don't seem to have any kind of melee attack. But, you know. Oh, what? I'm I'm so dumb. There's obviously something above, isn't there? Or, wait, or is there? Maybe there isn't, actually. Never mind. Maybe I'm not that dumb, then. However. Ah, uh, there... Oh, uh, nope, never mind. It's all good. We're good. I guess in this room I did not actually need to use that enemy. I really should have thought of that though, or just of the possibility. Okay, this is the the uh, or these are some of the the grappling points that I saw moving at some point. Yikes! Oh. I guess I could grab that with proper timing. Uh, right after dropping dropping down from here. Could have grabbed that and traveled all the way up and around this way, but I guess ultimately I didn't need to. Except, of course, if I want to... Yeah, no, if I want to return to this area, I think I need to... Um, safely reach the bottom of this, of this room. Which, uh, well, we'll see. I think that shouldn't be too hard. In fact, can I not safely drop from here? 
No, I totally can. Okay. Right. Is there anything there? Oh, there is an item. Interesting. I guess the only way to get that is to actually grapple it, except I was too far away. Which is a bit unfortunate. Okay. Unformed body for 3,000. Not too shabby. Definitely worth taking some damage for. That place I want to check out is actually over to the left. Out this way. Huh. But haven't I been there? I mean, I have, I know. Okay, I just never went here. Apparently. What? Wait, no, that's just... Where is that the way I took? Huh? No, I'm confused. This is just open. It's not even a secret at all. That's odd. Yeah, I definitely have... Definitely went this way. Now that I think about it. It's just... I mean, what's up with this? That indicates a... Like a tiny gap to dash through or something. That's clearly not what it is. Hmm. Strange. Huh. Okay, maybe I've maybe I actually never went into this little corridor then. I, I have to double check. I feel like there's something missing. Or something I'm missing. Was it? Uh, maybe there was just an enemy or something. Okay, well... Yeah, in fact, there was. Never mind, then. Oh, or was there... A... No, there was a breakable wall here. Okay. Which still is odd, though. I guess maybe the intentional way was around... Was to actually... Grapple onto this, and you know, travel along the the grappling points, and then through here, and then of course we would have seen this corridor, but couldn't have opened it and accessed this lower section. So this was the optional one. It seemed more like a punishment for actually for dropping down the shaft, and then well, I don't know. It's kind of odd to have to have that only be accessible from one side, and then blocked off from the other. But, oh well. Oh, ooh, that looks cool. <gasps> nice, exterior. I didn't dare hope or say anything, but here it is. Well, let's see. No new hunt points, but we can level up breath, uh, health rather, to 18. Not bad. Not bad at all. Maybe after that, I'm gonna go for more dexterity, for more damage? Or should I go for more resonance, which doesn't scale as well, but gives me more damage for my repels, which I am planning to invest in more. Maybe that makes more sense. Yeah, I still like the idea of having mostly a resonance build, just because it's, you know, of, of the novelty of it, I suppose. The most unique of the attributes. So I feel like I, you know, should play with that. Uh, these are some cool-looking things in the background. Can't quite tell if they, they're really just trees, just normal plants, or if they're somehow more than that, some, somehow sentient creatures. They're just vaguely tree-like. They look very much tree-like, though. Grab this. Lovely pearl. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Now I'm assuming, yeah, the way forward must be to the left, right? So whatever is over this way, it's probably optional. Hmm. What's this gonna work? Oh, there's there's ground. That's how it's gonna work. Wait, what? What are you? You're just a normal one. Okay. You're another one of those guys. Oh god. Out of stem. Real quick heal. Whoa, whoa, I took way more damage from something there than I thought. And I I died with full health bar. <laughs> that's that's nice. I, mean, I knew there was a very high risk trying to do a, a long heal there, but... Oh well. I don't think a, sh a quick heal would have saved me either. Well, maybe it would have. Who knows. Not a big deal, though. Especially since... Oh, wait... Where's the flying enemy? I really would prefer to not deal with both of them at the same time. Also, not sure what happened there. I dashed in the wrong direction, even though I was holding the right direction, I think. But okay. Stamina. Is the flying enemy just gone? What's up with that? Also, I'm really not good at fighting these guys yet. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Good enough, I suppose. Yeah, the fire's just gone. That's odd. I mean, I'll take it, but... Uh, huh. I'd assume that it's supposed to respawn. It just didn't. Hmm. Deadly drop? Well, I mean, kind of. I doubt I can grab the... Oh, never mind. Guess I'm wrong. Huh. Maybe I didn't quite have terminal velocity there? Well, it seems like I did. Oh god. That almost worked, although I'm, I suspect that I'm actually supposed to alternate between the top and bottom ones. Would that make things easier? Not necessarily. Also, I tried to grapple the, the bottom one there and that didn't work for me. So, I don't know. I think I just want to stick to the to the top. Oh, okay. So the flower explosions actually kill me? What? Huh. I mean, they normally don't. Normally they just deal damage. That was just bad. Not sure what I was trying to, to achieve there. This thing is rough, whatever this is. Also... Oh, okay, that's, that was just its own little thing. Huh. Welp. I mean, I, okay, I can technically... Oh God, that's awkward, though. I can technically go up and, up and down between those two, but... Is that really... Does it really help me? I'm still in, uh, in danger of... Uh, staying, staying too close to the explodey... Lightning flowers. I mean, it, I, I think it can work if I get, if I just stay far enough away from the flowers, like really close to the the thorny vine, without actually uh, 
without actually uh, ever touching it. Hmm. Okay. I was definitely getting getting further when I was not really thinking so hard about how to do it and just just going, as these things often go. Oh, and oh, I missed my chance. Yeah, not sure about this one. This seems tough, mostly because I I'm not entirely sure what the what the best way to do it even is. Not to mention pulling it off, you know. Okay, well. I'll give that one more shot, or, well, a couple more shots, of course. At least one more... One more life's worth of attempts, right? First we start with this awkward drop in last minute grapple. That's the first hurdle. Okay, just be ready for that. Thanks for the heal. Uh, how did I make it as far as I did that one time, or those couple of first times? Now it seems like those flower explosions kill me every single time. I guess, uh, I mean, obviously it has to do with uh, activating the, the next grapple and becoming invulnerable at just the right timing. That being said, I can't really... Oh god, uh, I mean, that that was kind of working. I guess in the end there, I I got killed by touching the vine, so I got a little bit too close to the bottom. Trying to cut it a little bit too close. It might also help if I just happen to land to come to a halt right between two flowers. So I don't actually get hit by the by the aura? I don't know. A lot is going on. Obviously there is very little time to react and basically no no way to correct any mistakes. If I find myself not in the correct position, I can't really do anything about that. Oh come on! I almost, I almost had it. One more dash and I would have been in the clear, more or less. At least away from the flowers. Yikes! Ah, okay. I feel like I have almost, I almost have some sort of rhythm going. I think I should be allowed one more death before I need to heal. I'm trying to get the most. Um, most out of my breath here, obviously. What? Oh, that was supposed to be a full heal. I guess I didn't keep the button pressed long enough. That's unfortunate. Nope. Mm. Should I heal? I guess. There we go. Oh god, I thought that was too close. I thought I needed to grapple to the lower one there. Jesus. <laughs> okay, it's definitely a rhythm. I mean, I'm sure... Some people can probably actually time what they're doing and keep track of, you know, their position and, and the movement of the grappling point and how far they are away from, you know, flowers and, and vine. But from here I just feel like I have better odds trying, trying to go with that rhythm. Holding the, holding the pole for a certain amount of time then. I mean, you're seeing what I'm doing, basically. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm... Basically, I don't know... Are you are you invulnerable while you're suspended in midair? No, surely not. But, I mean, it, it feels like I was actually right in the middle of of the lightning explosions. Just hanging in midair like that. Yeah, but, but then <laughs> there I clearly wasn't. Maybe because I hadn't fully started... Like, I, mean, I had only just started uh, this animation, basically. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that does not actually make you invulnerable, so... I don't know. That... Um, that seems rough. Oh. Ooh, okay. Definitely feels like I'm still not doing it quite right, but... I mean, I almost had it once, so obviously I can do it again. Just a matter of time. Ah, come on. I was a little bit too too fast there. Needed to be just a little bit lower. Okay, well, <laughs> there I was a little bit too late. Shouldn't actually have healed there. Well, that's fine. Doesn't matter because this is going to be the winning attempt. For sure. For sure, I say. <laughs> I could definitely do without the weight between tents. It would be nice if the, uh, the grapple points just respawned together with you, basically, to allow you an immediate retry. Oh, okay, don't do anything stupid. Okay. First part done. Can we dash through and pull up that platform? I'm guessing it's gonna just move upward. Or actually, I don't need to dash through. I just wait for the lightning. Um, wait. Okay, that's fine. Um, pull that down and get onto that. Okay, okay, so far so good. Do we need to fling ourselves upward? Maybe. That's kind of awkward to time with the electricity. Yeah, I can't grapple onto that. How do you time that? I just have to... to... to try and hope for the best, I think. What? Please! Okay, for some reason it didn't grab the platform there. That was a little bit unfortunate. Please! Okay, it happened again. You don't normally have to aim very, very precisely at those. Okay. Yeah, I suppose you do have to aim to an extent. But, you know, it's very lenient. Typically. Oh, that would have worked if I had actually gotten the momentum. Please! What is going on? What's up with that? Are you... Uh. Maybe... Maybe some of the... Uh, new grappling-related mechanics I got recently... Uh, well, God, now I'm screwing up left and right. Maybe one of the recently gained, uh, you know, grappling upgrades somehow changed... Something about the timings and hitboxes, interactions with other grabbable objects, like... Yeah, what's up with that? Okay. Crumbly. No time to think. Um, grab that, grab that, dash through, grab that, grab that... Dash through, grab, 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 dash. <gasps> no! God damn it. Okay. Holy crap, this is. This is quite the gauntlet. I'm really. I really hope I'm not missing anything. Or rather, I really hope they don't hide anything along this way, because that would be just absolutely diabolical. 
Okay, wait. Um. Okay, that. What? How did I grab that? That's okay. There's there are some weird things going on here. I'm not sure. Okay. Didn't get that. Come on, please. It's impossible. Previously, I I I mean, I swear it wasn't that that hard to actually grab platforms like this. You only had to aim just ever so slightly in the in the direction of the platform, and then it would just work. Yeah. Um. Okay. Just take your time. Wait for the time to be right, like so. Thanks for the for the breath, I guess. That is aw awfully nice, but it also makes me worry that <laughs> this is going to keep on going for a while longer, perhaps. We'll see. Pull that over? Okay, good. Um, wait. I need to use the momentum off that platform, don't I? And time it with more lightning, because... Because, of course. Ah, oh, that was... How? I don't gain a lot of height there at all. I mean, I saw it glowing for just a split second. I guess you have to be ready. This is not gonna work. Hmm. Come on! There's so little time! That's gotta be what, you, what you're supposed to do, right? That actually would have worked, but it seemed a bit too close. So I'll pull it over as the lightning starts. No, that's that's too late. I'll pull it over now. Oh, that's also not the right timing. When do I do it? That should work. Come on! I guess I could maybe technically save myself. Not sure though. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, it's fine. We're getting there. Come on, come. I swear I was pressing the stick up. <sighs> what? That didn't work at all. Okay. Wait, wait. This actually kind of works. Hold on. You don't have to do it with momentum at all. That makes it much easier. Okay. Heal. I think I saw some big enemy here. Oh. Yes? Was this all necessary, perhaps? No way. No way this was required. This has to be an optional challenge. Right? That's way too tough. Okay, well, I did damage the guy, but uh, at what cost? Oh, except we can keep doing that for what it's worth. Come on over. Okay, that actually did hit him. No! <laughs> screw him. No! I said screw him, not get screwed. Yikes. That almost... <laughs> my, my panic, my nerves almost defeated me once again. Jesus. Okay, another hunt point and a bunch of items. Oh, petal gem, Pe petal gem, petal gem, legs, hands, and chest, of course. All right. Whew. Well, that was exciting. 
Uh, let's see here. No new weapons. New set, though. Oh? Which one was it? Oh, these ones. Oh, okay. Hmm. Fancy. Uh, Leaper and Flower Fighter. Oh, I see. So a split between uh, more straight up more force and more force regen. Interesting. And also gives force and health in equal parts. I kind of like that. Although, of course, I have not actually invested in Leaper. Hmm. Before they would weave and spin to create a skin. Now they are given the opportunity to master new materials, unraveling the unique beauty found within all. Okay, whatever. Whoever this is referring to. Um, yeah, this might look kind of neat. Actually, let's just give it a give it a try. Why not? Hmm. I don't know. Kind of similar to the gold outfit, except that it's technically like shimmering gems, I suppose. Hmm. Can only assume that this ledge would not have been. Or cannot be reached from below. Then what is up this way? Huh? What? You? How can you grapple through that platform? That did not seem like something you should be able to grapple through. There, though. What is this place? I really can't tell if if this is the main path or still part of the optional path. I mean, it has to be the latter, right? Because we went through all that gauntlet and eventually got rewarded with uh, well, a hunt point and a new set. So surely all of this must not be accessible otherwise. Hmm. Odd. I mean, no, this is obviously the main path. I mean, we did open this. This was a breakable wall, but I guess the so I guess the the reward was really just a hunt point, and the set was was just lying on the ground. Yeah. Okay. Also, already over over an hour. Holy crap! Time just absolutely flies. Right. So we definitely could have reached that. And this is technically the same large room with the save point. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Another 3000 mass. Not too shabby. And one of those. Okay. Just lying around on the ground. And there's the side point. Well, I guess... Hmm. We just never... Yeah, we never actually went to the left from the save point. Just had it straight down here and dealt with all this. This hellscape. Right. Well, I guess... Uh, we did that now, so that's nice. We'll never have to deal with that again. Uh, there's clearly something more to be, be explored in the upper reaches of this, of this room, and then whatever is past here. Uh, as far as the set goes, yeah, I don't know. Don't know about that. I mean, it's, it might actually be something to use uh, instead of the uh, of the golden set. But then, when is more experience ever not going to be useful, right? But yeah, as far as visuals go, thanks but no thanks. Mm, I don't know, maybe, I mean, the arms are fine, I suppose. Sure. Similar enough to what I was using before. Let's see here. Well, we can increase health to 20, so that's nice. Level 70. 
Oh yeah, okay. Uh, aren't we we actually do have four points. Oh. Okay. I somehow thought we we should be at three, but well, obviously not. In that case, uh, this is what I wanted to do, right? Yes. Yeah, we already improved this one. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Even more repel damage. In fact, repel damage 85. Not bad. Okay, and obviously, after all this, I need a break. And after this episode already becoming, like, incredibly long. Holy crap. It's just, it's just crazy. This, this game just absorbs me so much. I mean, it's amazing. Obviously. The best problem to have. Huh, it's also interesting that, uh, well, I mean, obviously, why wouldn't it be? But um, somehow I didn't expect this, this little area that we've already been to on this side uh, to be on the map. But of course it would be. Okay, yeah, anyway. Um, without further ado, we are going to continue our exploration of this place and, well, obviously, make it to where we're supposed to be. Maybe the boss, uh, maybe the next uh, major boss fight. Uh, next time. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.